Denier, much has changed in the world. You walk down the street. Uh, this is the morning after the melding. You feel equal parts foreign in this city. And yet at the same time, this sense of familiarity continues to wash over you as two divergent memories continue to uh, conflate in your mind. A sensation that over time should uh, become less and less of an ebb and flow. As you begin to make your way to the Kylum Diaboli this early morning, a special session has been called as soon will come time to deal with the menacing red dragon nested to your west. With the memories of the future fresh in your mind and with the preparations uh, that Wolfgang has made in procuring various supplies from Silver Rock. All that remains now is to plan and plan you shall. The inevitable conflict will no doubt be a key point in all of the events to come. As you make your way to the Kylum Diaboli, a uh, familiar pair enters your view. Nara, Asmo, you guys are also making your way towards the Kylum. Go ahead and give me a perception check, the two of you. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 12. Oh, 12. Okay. This is what I get for not opening my sheet. You set up perception? Yes. 17. Asmo, it's still relatively early for you. You're, uh, you're focused on your cup of coffee as you're walking in. Uh, but I'm, Nara, I'm just drinking it right now. God damn. Uh, but Nara, <laughs> you, uh, you see Denier. Uh, there appears to be a strange shift in his gait as he notices the two of you. Hi. Morning. What? Morning. What's that? What's Coffee. what? Oh. What do you yeah. mean, what's what? You're weird right now. Explain. Oh. What happened? In regards Cause to Because I you. feel like if I explain how you're weird, then you won't be weird how you're weird anymore. That's really weird, Nara. I've always been weird. I will always be weird. You can give me an insight check if you would like. Yep. 19. Are you being purposefully opaque, Denier? A little bit. Performance or deception? Your choice. That's a five. Oh. Something has oh. absolutely happened to him. His poker face is shit. Uh, shittier than usual, in fact. There's, there's this social awkwardness to him that wasn't there previously. This, this... He has a, like, I mean, obviously it's Denier. He looks like Denier. But there's a strange sort of familiarity about him. And his gaze is shifting to Asmo a lot more than normal. Uh. N Naro puts a hand up, like slaps the back of her hand against Asmo's chest. What? You know he's taken, hand. right? 
Slow tilt to the head. I'm fully aware. What is, what what is, is happening? What? Yeah, that's like my follow-up question. What? 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 What do you mean, what? He's being weird. Asmo, you can go ahead and give me an insight check, too. A disadvantage, right? Like, the fuck is... <laughs> if you want to give it with disadvantage... <laughs> All right. I'm it would, it would make insight. sense for your current situation, but... Denier is... <laughs> Nine. I'm going to let it ride against this current deception, which means you're still, like... There is something odd about Denier this morning. There's... There's something about him, like the, the level of stoicism he's portraying, the uh, sheer mannerisms that he's exhibiting are Nara's definitely gonna off. Go up to him and, like, smell him. He seems to smell normal, at least is as familiar Ooh. as he usually smells when you sniff him. She's going to look, get right up in his face and just stare in his pupils. Is there something I can Let's help go. you with? You're too calm. I'm always calm. No, no, you're like sad calm. You're not like fun calm. You're normally fun calm. Something, something. By all means, please. Tell me your theories. I'd love to hear them. I know I know you. I know that I know who you are. But you are not the you that I know that you are. So what happened to my denier? Uh, what? Your denier. I'm not saying that you're not my denier. But I do not think you are the denier that I knew yesterday. So the one that you met yesterday is your veneer. It's just metaphorical. What is happening here? Asmo, it would make sense for you to be very lost in this conversation. What the hell are you guys doing? It's just like a magic thing. Maybe. What happened? Did you get some of your memories locked away or something? Do you only have sad veneer now? I've emotionally grown from where I was yesterday. Ooh. How? I explored more of who I am as a person. You, okay, this sounds like you did a bunch of drugs. Are you still on the drugs? What drugs I, did you take? Oh, that better not be coffee. It's the best drug. Oh, please tell me you have some pipe weed. I have not had pipe weed in so long. What does that mean? Uh, she something points means a I finger like an inch weed. from his nose. It means I haven't had pipe weed in a long time. Why are you calling it How pipe long weed is a long time? Because it's a weed that you smoke in a pipe. Yeah, but when was the last time you had it? Oh. Lenny, how long has it been since I since I ran out? Since you, per like, since you would have run out of actual physical pipe weed, probably four and a half years. Although you do know that there are f three or four different apothecaries that carry various strains in the city. Yeah, but nobody, n no pipe weed hits like, uh, like the Feywild pipe weed. Ah, uh, it's been a little while. Uh, let's see, real stuff. A couple years now, at least. I was just smoking pipe weed with you about a week ago. Memory Lady, checks is out. Is true? Hmm. Funny that. Funny indeed. So who are you? Are you real? Do you really it's want it's to know? It's, it's, it's Denier, sweetie. That's Denier. I don't know what's going on, but 
She like flops her hand back like a fish and it like kind of paps <laughs> like Osmo in the face like pep, 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 pep. Okay. What happened? Why don't you ask Wolfgang? No, 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 I'm asking you. You're going you to feel like Denier. Sure what? enough, Wolfgang, you do stumble upon this scene of them kind of corralling and Nara just kind of s gently slapping jabbing Asmo's face. Thing while also jabbing a finger towards Denier. Well, it seems like a perfectly normal morning around here. He's not wrong. Uh, Wolfgang appears to be approaching from the other side. Denier, you can see him. Nara, you and Asmo are currently facing away from him. Uh, Wolfgang, once again, you're accompanying your son, at least at the halfway points. The uh, Arcane Academy and the Kylum, given that the Kylum itself is built around the foundation of the Kench Estates, the uh, Academy itself is essentially where the Kench Estates backyard once was. I will uh, send my son off on his next day of school with a, with a ruffling of the hair and a pat on the back. He rushes off excitedly. reassurances. He rushes off excitedly. He stands there and watches for a moment as he turn, uh, as he waits until Elliot is fully inside the building before turning around. So, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And I don't know why, and he's not acting like the Denier that I knew yesterday. Ah, apparently I'm not her Denier, Wolfgang. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I said... You seem like my denier, but you do not seem like my denier. You do not seem like the denier that I talked to very recently. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a perfectly good reason for that. Wait, is it okay to tell him? Is it safe? There's not going to be any, like, explosions. Uh, at, at this point, no. I've already handled everything that might have exploded or erased me from the uh, timeline. Right. Wait, well, it did a squirrel not... eat you? What? In the what? time thing, there were squirrels. They looked very feral. Oh, right. Oh, uh, that... No, I think there was just one big one. Actually. Yeah, his name is Ratatosker. He's an asshole. He's got a name? Yeah. I keep having nightmares about running from one. Anyway, makes sense. Nara. And he, yes, he, like, what? Wrap, he wraps an arm around Denier and pulls him close. This is our Denier. What? The one that we lost in the tree. Wait, what? I, this is I, him. I, or at least I think it's two of you, I think. I'm two You're... guys now. <laughs> she immediately hugs him. Congrats on your tw uh your uh uh happy birthday double birth wait does that mean we have to buy you two presents on your birthday yes wolfgang obviously <sighs> i'll be honest with you guys i is this is a protracted bit what is drink happening drink your coffee uh, honey drink your coffee i was up late last night with it's, you God it's magic osmo again it it's Asmo, it's magic bullshit. Don't worry. Ugh, this is Ma Asmo. This is magic bullshit that is even far beyond me, and I've uh, seen a lot of shit in my time. This is Tom level have... magic bullshit. Okay. What do I have to roll for sc scritchies? Uh, <laughs> roll for scritchies. Scritchies. Yes. I I I would go sleight of animal hand. Handling? <laughs> animal handling is also fair. If you want to do Damn. animal handling, fine. If you Damn. want, if you want sleight of hand, hand, okay, sleight of hand, sleight of hand. Uh, 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 oh no. Um, listen, sleight of hand. It is twenty-one. Those twenty-one. Some, those some good scritchies. Like you have just the right amount of nail, just the right amount of pressure, at just the right point of the scalp, like just behind the uh, ear. Uh, while it's apparent that. He is attempting to remain stoic. Uh -huh. There is small, there's small flickers of enjoyment behind the scritches. You can accidentally <laughs> hear him purr every time he inhales. 
I heard that. So. And she uh, pushes him away, hands on both shoulders. How was your time travel? Time travel, man? Oh, my God. We've we've been over this, I suppose. <laughs> Lonely. Wait, why? Did you not get to go with people? Oh, there were only three of us, huh? Yeah, wait, where were you? At the top. Of? Where, do, where were we at the time? I was at the top. <gasps> By myself. Squirrel. This entire time. Oh, the, tr the tree? Low nod. So when you said you haven't smoked pipe weed in years? I understand Solomon better now. So, wait, so you're both in there. Like, you are you, but you are also other you, which is you that I knew yesterday, but the you that I knew four years ago is also in there, but he is sad now because he has been alone for four years. That's a lot of words. Were they correct? I'm two guys now. Essentially, they are correct. There is nuance to it, but... Yes, they, they now share memories. One of them is just a dominant personality, while the other one is a subconscious entity that is merely there to feed him history. Oh, wait. No. That's maybe too sensitive of a question to ask. But you share, like... Yeah, it's just your thoughts. But it's like soup now, right? You have, like, soup brain... Slow or maybe it was head even more. It was like two soups or but when you pour two soups into a bowl you have one soup. Yes. Two flavors of soup in the same bowl. And sad denier is the stronger flavor. I wouldn't count myself as sad. You seem very sad. We'll get you pipe weed. We'll fix it. Oh, I plan to get plenty. But I think we have more pressing matters to attend to. She's staring and her eyebrow is like twitching a little, still processing all the information that she just spewed out of her own mouth. Do we have to? I'm kind of tired now. You're tired. You, this is why I'm drinking the coffee. How are you tired? You don't sleep. Whatever. Not judging you. I'll keep our house conversations to the house. You kept me up so late. What are you talking so, about? Asmo may be a black snake, but he is blushing through that right now. And his cough is like... <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's more than his nice. Che his cheeks are a bit more purple. Yeah, that's, there we go. <laughs> He glanced over towards Wolfgang. That does not surprise me with those two. Always watching. <laughs> Always Who the hell was watching. That? Yeah, Nara looks around. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, we should probably get going now. I promised Elliot we were going to play Hold the Knife later. I mean, he's in... I just dropped him off at school, so we've got I know. hours. Also, yeah, don't. we're playing a more advanced version of it now, so it's a little bit more complicated. I have to prepare some. Th we should get going. I'm going to say please now. 
please. Okay, bye. Don't I have to go. Okay, okay I'll, see I'll see you at the Kylum. I'll see you at the Kylum. Don't. Nara rushes inside. <laughs> don't play with knives of my son. Fucking. Is this what you deal with all the time? Wolfgang just like with with one of those photorealistic SpongeBob faces just turns around. You can see <laughs> just like the dark circles underneath his eyes. Yeah, this is what you deal with all the time. Maybe life was better on the tree and he keeps on walking. Oh my god! Rude! So you guys head into uh, the Kylum to convene. Yay. Yep. Might as well. Indeed. All right. You find your way up to the long table of the conference room. Uh... At the moment, it is you four, Venariel and Talia. Ah, good. You're here, Venariel says as you make your way in. Top of the morning. A little past that, but yes. Really? Yeah. Just blinks. Oh, anyway. I imagine there was a lot of catching up to be had. Aye, oh, there was a little bit of uh, catching up that was done. Venario, I have a question for you. Yes, she looks at you. Under like not quite understanding what you've been through, but understanding that she's talking to a different person. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to send yourself a message, how would you tell yourself that it is in fact you? Are we speaking hypothetically or do you have a message for me from me? I have a message for you and he hands over the message complete with the Wizzlestein seal. Oh shit. This would be how I do it. I made sure to ask her before I left. And he leans forward slowly. And before I left, she knew that her father's killer was avenged. That her father was a kid. She knew that her father was avenged. Hmm. Glad to have you on our side. She smiles back at you, Riley slight smile as he moves back over to his seat. I'll read through this later. It's a lot, from what I understand. Uh, I would be prepared for a culture shock. A lot of things happened. I have little doubts from what Wolfgang and Nara were able to pass back and what the king was willing to Infer. I have no doubt that your journey here was much longer and more complicated than I can presently comprehend. But it's good to have you here. Happy to be here. To the matter at hand. Nidhogg, who nests to the west in the Colossus Koldara. I have collected a number of alchemical substances that should assist with your attempts to get into the beast's mind and perhaps render him more docile. I don't quite understand the methodology, but that is why your knowledge 
is more valuable in this situation. Perhaps we should start off with what it is that you know from your experience within its mind. Denier would stand up and he uh, uh, walks in front of basically the meeting room as he makes sure that there's a, a point uh, clear on the wall. And as he begins speaking, uh, he forms various illusions on the wall. First and foremost, inside of Nidhogg's mind, there is a barrier, Ima uh, image of the barrier as it stood in the future with the stone and uh, ego and id on both sides. Uh, the barrier is barely holding a, bit, a sea of corruption that has spread through him. I imagine it's due to a number of uh, instances of corruption being uh, put into his form. But at, at his core, he is still there and there is still a barrier holding through with two guardians inside. In previous, in a previous excursion, when the rest of the party was battling the Jester of Bordeaux, I took myself and his brother York into into the mind of Nidhogg while he was slumbering. Image shifts to Ego, Id, York, and Denier uh, facing off against the giant Jester of Bordeaux. Uh, the combat was fierce, but eventually, and the image shifts again to a giant Yorick holding a spear, holding a javelin of dreams inside of, uh, doing his pose with, uh, basically felling the jester. Uh, thanks to our combined efforts, we were able to slay the, uh, what is essentially the personality or the persona of the jester Bordeaux. And in doing so, snaps his fingers, the image change, changes again to the ghostly Garrick standing in front of the stone as uh, Ego and Id had disappeared. By what? doing this, we freed wow. the uh, spirit of uh, Garrick at that point so that he had a little bit more cognizance back of himself. Snaps his fingers again and he shows an image of the party parlaying with Nidhogg. Because of this, he was able to retain a little bit more of himself, but I believe that with a, with additions of the medicine of the Lily of the Lunar Well, potentially along with Wolfgang's uh, greater restoration capabilities, we could potentially purge even more of this corruption from his system, whether it be going directly into his psyche to do battle there and battle the corruption on a more physical level, or by uh, restoration magic and cleansing the corruption from his own body, hopefully removing the red from its scales and potentially turning him into, hopefully, another bra another bronze dragon, which would be a great boon, as it would appear that the forces up north are beginning to get nervous. What you do, what you describe, does coincide with some data that we've acquired from the king. While we were able to purge a vast majority of the corruption from the attempted attack and transfer it into Garrick, what remains does still attack at his soul like a. Like a magical disease. It seeks to spread and corrupt. If we can purge Garrick of this corruption, we would need to find some way to concentrate it elsewhere, some sort of vessel with which to contain the corruption. Lanny, can I roll an Arcana check to determine if taking the corruption and putting it back from whence it came would be a viable solution? Go for it. Put go it ahead back and give me a roll. yeah. Go ahead and give me an Arcana roll for that. That's a thirty-one. That's a hell of a roll. Um, 
Nice, nice. As the skull itself is a font of corruption, it seems only logical that it could also be a sponge for it as well, if channeled properly. You believe that this plan might work if it can expel, certainly it can take. I believe I may have come up with an an idea for that as well. We have potentially two possibilities at that point. Either A, we attempt to, upon going into the mind of Nidhogg, uh, give the corruption a physical manifestation and then defeat said manifestation inside of his own mind, or B, we put it back where it came from. I didn't come back alone. And he shows an image of the complete crystal skull. The skull of Asmodeus is in my position, though it is currently under lock and key and highly warded. Presently, you've decided to, uh, and this might be a retcon, I don't give a shit. You've decided to uh, keep it locked away within your dream manner. That was the original idea for, for myself various wards, various symbols. That thing is, that place is trapped to high holy hell. Uh, currently the currently the skull is off plane, but it is currently safe, secure, and highly warded. The soul, the primary inhabitant of the skull is also not there. It is empty. Although, it has been used as a listening device against me in the past, so if we do remove it, it needs to be used quickly and then put back under lock and key. Otherwise, it may be taken. A listening device by who? To Ram by Ramsey's Palto. Ah, uh, what? Uh, apparently, ever since he ascended, uh. he's able to access and make use of various crystals from not only this plane but others yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry I'm sorry he's not dead yours isn't I was just sitting back going like just like his ha hands are on his head like this is all like his ha head's trying to wrap around what he's hearing like this is like a lot for him to take in what's worse he's ascended is that mean that's not a good word it means much That's like sure. much like his self-described children. He has awakened a transformative power that resides within his blood using the crystal itself, which means a portion of it must be embedded in his body somewhere. He snaps his fingers and the image on the wall shifts a little bit and... Uh, Lanny, this is up to you if you'll allow it. Given that I have explored other timelines, an image of uh, the council, the demonic council from another timeline where Daenerys is actually sitting on that council appears on the screen, uh, on the wall. It would be a completely different looking cavalcade of monstrosities, but yes. Oh, sitting, no doubt. Yeah, sitting around this... Uh, table appear to be a number of monstrous entities uh each humanoid but bearing various animalistic qualities be they elongated fangs in their mouth claws wings some looking more monstrous than others some looking uh much more demure than any normal mortal the council but, tends to change from iteration to iteration, but they are all equally dangerous. But sitting at the table's head, directly next to what appears to be a uh, misshapen, uh, almost monstrous looking version of Denier, is uh, one that you would like the figure that you would recognize to be Ramsey's Palto, though his uh, head bears elongated horns protruding from his brow, and his eyes glow a malevolent, 
pinkish red. Mm. It, his skin taking on a similar hue. Oof. Weird fashion sense. Things didn't go well in this iteration. But it could be plausible to put the corruption back into the skull where it belongs. If that's the case, then potentially we could even do the same with the king. What happens then? Does the skull get more powerful? It would only stand to reason. And that means how... Ramses gets more powerful. Well, how and long would it take? Gets... Uh, how long would it take to get the, the, it in the skull, though? Like actually, what we're doing? Not to take. Sorry, don't mean to be weird here. I'm just going practical here. How long are we talking here? Is this going to take an hour? Going to take a day? A month? A protracted campaign? Like, what are we talking about? Like, I. I see things so literal. This is flying over my head. There are many unknowns in this situation. Ah, oh, boy. That factor being one of them, whether this is something that will require multiple treatments or whether this is a all-or-nothing gambit. If Don't... it's the latter, if it's the former, I think Nidhogg's bringing his army or at least a retinue with him. That's something we would hopefully avoid at all costs. What information I do know of the future is if Nidhogg does decide to strike at this land, it will be catastrophic for anyone who lives here or anywhere between here and the mountain. Hmm. We may want to look into shoring up our defenses for aerial assaults, especially given the fact that there are two known forces that use uh, largely aerial assaults, and our walls will do nothing. Mm -hmm. We have the ballistas positioned outside of the city walls to the west, but should something come from the north, we are... The first, tar first target will be those, no matter what. Oh, of course. That would be the first thing. So in a lot of ways, that we can use the fact that that will have to be the first target. Knowing that that will be their first target, and that gives us that advantage. Venaria, would it be possible to use the uh, crystal that we had uh, from the cannon itself, uh, resources, almost an arcane power source to attempt to generate like a giant shield over the city, if need be. That crystal itself was rendered inert years ago. Forming something new would take time. Likely time we don't have. I would convene... What are we looking at here? Well... If... If you're looking to subdue Needhog, the sooner the better, from what I understand from your last meeting with his enforcer. <gasps> By now, they would have delivered their... the gifts that you had parted with. As we haven't heard anything from the West, I'm guessing they were at least enough to sate the beast. Though, undoubtedly, he will acquire a taste for more. But isn't that a boon in and of itself, given the unique qualities of Yumberry liquor? If he destroys the lands of Silver Rock, he destroys his only source. Which means he will seek to extort as opposed to destroy. 
but if it is a if he is seen to have been slighted I would not be surprised if he would strike either out of arrogance or anger. Though you do bring up an interesting point. If he does acquire a taste for the Yumberry wine, the method that you entered his mind required him to be asleep. Correct. So he will need to be sedated regardless. Yumberry wine would be a perfect delivery mechanism for some form of sedative. And additional magical and divination methods would render a, a detect poison spell or what have you completely useless due to using the wine as a base. Plus it tastes like whatever you want it to taste like, so probably wouldn't be able to taste anything that was added into it. If he has the constitution of any of the royal family, however, his body may reject any form of poison put into it. Well, I've got a little help in that regard. Nara turns to look at Wolfgang like, what the what? When I was visiting Dragon's Rest, the royals, they made me privy to a tincture that helped the king get to sleep during uh, fits that are caused sort of like aftershocks from his time being possessed of the power of the red crystals. I took one whiff of it and was knocked out for five minutes. I think if I had tasted any of it, I would be dead. Yes. So where do you get it? Uh, Wolfgang produces the vial that he was given. Well, wow, well, wow. There's one flaw to this plan. We'll need to make sure that Needhog has dropped his guard when he takes it. When Lord Bahum partakes of this substance, he willingly lets its effects take hold of him. Should the creature resist, especially one of draconic constitution, I fear they may be able to resist it. Well, we could slip it into the wine as well. Which would mean that at that point you would either need to slip it by without him noticing and find him in good enough mood and mirth to drift off to sleep on his own. Or let him partake of it while staying nearby and then sneak into his abode while he is asleep. Mm. Or I suppose the last ditch effort would be to have him partake of it and then force your way through the rest of his resistance until it overtakes him. <laughs> hey, uh, Lanny. Yes? Coming from a monster hunting family, would Wolfgang be aware of the concept of legendary resistance? I'll say not in a meta aspect, but in terms of mechanics, yes, this is how it would work. Okay. You, you understand that uh, if you distract it enough by forcing it to essentially resist certain things consciously enough... That by doing that enough, the poison might take effect, and he would not be able to resist at that point. Mm -hmm. Basically overwhelming his system and his constitution. 
Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. There's a few other factors that we need to consider as well. There are potential third parties that will be involved in this. For one, we have a good authority that Ramses and Nidhogg are in some form of allyship. Yes, it seems as though Ramses was both providing him arms and armament for his army. As well as, from what I understand, a mate. He, he looks a little sour at when that gets brought a up. Asmel kind of cringes too, like, ugh, I. That's, uh... I. Bardish, one of the dignitaries from the north that was here in Silver Rock not terribly long ago, is. Offered up to Needhog as a bride. At the very least, he doesn't have what he needs to make her into a full-fledged dragon yet, as far as as far as I'm hoping. So he won't be able to produce his red dragonborns and his wyverns quite yet, if we're lucky. The only one versed what? in that type of magic would be the prisoner sitting in the dungeons below. I think we should keep an extra careful lock on him while Needhog is here. I've got a bad gut feeling. <laughs> His information could be useful in the assault, though. I don't think he's terribly keen on working with us. He's claiming that he's been imprisoned on false pretenses, and though they're not necessarily false, he does have some ground to stand on, and that his plans haven't been planned yet. He's also agreed to potentially help us if we make things a little easier for him. Loosen his shackles to let him move his arms a bit. Change of food. Give him the carrot, so to say. Perhaps your newfound perspective would be able to pry loose some information. Or at the very least, I know some friends of mine that are very useful as a stick in this particular instance. Mm. Whichever method you would find to acquire this information. I could likely do it. If not me, give him a few days under the influence of my friends. Pretty sure he'll talk. Hmm. Or be dead. Is there any sort of response we should expect when you utilize the skull? You mentioned that Ramses was watching. Has he shown hostile intent? Somewhat, yes. Uh, he he claims that he does not want to go to war, but he's convinced that given the dragons are backing Silverock, he seems to be under the impression that the dragons are going to force Silverock into a position where Silverock will be forced to go to war. I believe that he's giving 
giving a reason, using that as a, an example to begin to prepare arms. I believe that if we do decide to do this, and that's probably for the past that we do, we are in essence at least the way the world will see it that way being aggressive towards an ally of the north mm -hmm. that may be enough for Ramses perhaps that's only if you fail if we are able to purge Garrick of his corruption. We turn the tables. Not only do we have uh, another dragon at our back, we've also got all the armor, all the weapons, and everything provided to defend if Ramsay does come down south. And but... Ramsay's ally would have come to no harm in that situation. Hmm. We're not without. We're not without options. But to misfire in this would bring about Bedlam. <sighs> well, we really gotta make this work then. Mm -hmm. I potentially have an additional option, though not to deal with Nidhogg, but another route. Explain. The entity that I thought to be the Bleeding God. It was, in fact, Ramses Palto. What? Another version of him that was lost during Project Exodus. Sad yeah. one? You mentioned this when we were in the future. As it turns out, from the apparent beginning of time, he's been manipulating strings in not only this timeline but others trying to in his eyes find a way to keep the peace but every timeline that I've seen and he's seen has been utter annihilation on both sides and he starts snapping his fingers and as he does pictures of various timelines that Denier has seen Ooh. begins flashing on the screen Oh, jeez. You see what? scenes of uh, very, very similar creatures to those you saw around the uh, table with the demonic or devilish Denier and Ramses. Uh, many scenes very similar to that of the future you once visited. Creatures like that that have overtaken the entirety of the land of Marmaria uh, what humanity you do see are seen, or like what, you know, normal mortal races you do see inhabiting that land are treated as lessers, slaves, toys, beings of amusement to their demonic overlords. After hundreds, if not thousands, of attempts to stop this, when we had our introduction, he proposed an idea that I work with him to create a new pocket dimension, a new realm for all the demons of the North to go into and be segregated for a while. Of course, I took this as another manipulation as all of Ramses does as he snap, snaps fingers there's an image of Denier casting disintegrate upon Ramses whoa whoa you watch Fucking as hell. the Ramses that's being disintegrated seems to put up no resistance to this attack so I proposed after that I was left alone for a while When I had my introductions with Ramses during 
the meeting that I had yesterday, I proposed the same idea to him. He countered by trying to get myself to turn on myself, attempting to play me against myself. Safe to say, his plans were foiled, but I believe that he's going to do whatever it takes to try to make this happen. But I think that it's possible that we might be able to force this plan into effect anyway. But there are certain pieces that we need. Such One, as? Jimothy Blackwart. There is nobody on Marmaria that I know of that is able to cast the strongest spell in reality. He looks at Venariel. You know the one I'm talking about. We use that to create the... We use that to either create the demiplane or pocket dimension in, a, in and of itself. Or we seek the guidance from a friend who has done it in the past. One, to create the demiplane or pocket dimension. The other, to bind the demons of the north to that pocket dimension. So, we, so if they are banished or slain on this plane of existence, they will be forced into that one. They'll still be alive on the other side, but they won't be able to come back here easily. Hmm. It would also take an incredible font of magic to make that happen. The amount of arcana to create such a vortex would be I'm going to roll something for her. Denier, give me an Arcana roll as well. Absolutely. 29. Her eyes snap to yours as a similar source of great arcane power kind of comes to mind. The very fortress that they float around in is a massive crystal, like, magic crystal conduit. We need to... The, I believe that the first thing that we need to do is find Jimothy Blackwart, and then after that we can use the fortress of Meternacht itself against them. The last place we knew where Jimothy Blackwart was was in that floating city. Fortunately, yeah. we have a little bit of help, and he'll dig into his bag, and he will pull out a leathered, gnarled ear. You're full of surprises today. This is the ear of Jimothy Blackwart from the other timeline. With it, I can attempt to scry on him, find his location. If he's still being held imprisoned in Meternacht, if it's location is not warded, I might be able to find it. Well, you can probably bet his location might be, have some warding on it. Uh, Lanny, uh, if memory serves right, hasn't Talia let us know that uh, Blackwart was released during the during the uh, coup attempt? Uh, yes. He did break, out, like, he, they were able to break him out during the attempt. But that was absolutely a distraction tactic. Uh, it is unclear what happened to him during the assault or after the assault. Blackwart was released from his crystal prison uh, during an assault on Meternacht, but we don't know where he is or what he's doing at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Given that he's given who made him and what he is, I suspect that he's either uh, hiding somewhere, still in containment, or he's been destroyed. Which is why I intend to find him. How? What knowledge do I have about liches? It's a good question. You've met one. Um, 
the one we're talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we met quite a big one. Yeah, I'll say... Uh, Nara meet Jimothy? You... He was probably made before your time, before Solomon went into Exodus. Though you certainly you would know about future, him. You met him in the future, didn't you? Yeah, and you met him in the future. Well, his head. Yeah. Yeah, you met, yes. the, you met, okay. the, you yeah. met, you met the mummified version of him. Um, Got it. Go ahead and give me... What would this be? Arcana or... I guess for, like, knowledge of undead, uh, it could be religion or it could be... I'll also give you survival, I think, just based on your career. One of I those three. They might, they might be the same. It was... It was Arcana, Arcana, religion, survival. or survival. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, oh, my religion is actually plus six, so... Lucky me. I also, will go with that roll one. for information about liches. Yeah, for you, Nara, this would be a probably a history arcana? check or arcana. Oh, really? Check. Very nice. Let's do arcana. Oh wait, that's a d6. Hang on. Yeah, that's that was a d6, my dude. <laughs> that is a very nice 18. roll for a d6, though. Mm. What information are you that's seeking, Nara? That's better. That is much better. Um. Let them say their thing first, and then I'll say mine. Okay, Wolfgang, what specific information are you trying to find? Or, th like, ponder on? What would it take to destroy a lich? Wolfgang knows that they're very hard to kill. Yeah, the Archmage himself uh, has lived for hundreds of years at this point. Uh, like, he was one of Solomon's creations at the beginning of his rebellion. What would it take to kill him? Um, through various conversations you might have had with him, uh, you would probably know that uh, there is a certain... Like, there's something that ties him to the Earth. Something that binds him in a way that, uh, though his physical body might be destroyed it will reconstitute itself as long as this particular anchor happens to exist. Would I know that to be a phylactery? Uh, whether or not you know the word for it, I'll mm. let you decide, but uh, his soul is his soul, and therefore his existence is tied to an anchor on this realm. Well... Nara, you would know the same, unless there's something, sp uh, something else you're trying to figure out. It was if more they... of that, like, un because if Solomon was the one that made it, she would likely have been around to hear that conversation and kind of piecing together how it worked and what it was, you know? Again, but I guess then that would be history. Yeah, he probably made, uh, again, Solomon made him before your time. You came about after his rebellion, after his, after he left the North is when you were born. True. But Nara, but Solomon also talks a lot about how great he is. <laughs> so I don't know if he would have just like talked about stuff at random while she was around, you know, and then she could just like piece with, together what you he's want done. To, if you since want to he give this creation so if much, if you want, I, I'll, I'll say with the Arcana check, you can confirm Wolfgang's knowledge that it is tied to something. Uh, some object his soul is tied to. But if you want to give me a history check, maybe you might be able to figure out where that object might be, or at least what is. that object is. Come on, history eight. Nope. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if Solomon would even know. He'd probably know what it is. The question is, would he have kept track of it? Would he have cared to? I I, I mean... Something tells me he wouldn't have wanted... He wouldn't have cared, really, to keep track of it. I could ask him. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it as well. <sighs> For now... Uh, 
let's... Are we going to go forward with the assumption that Jimothy Blackwork is, in fact, still with us? If he's not, it'd be somewhat uh, simple to figure out, as long as he's not in a uh, divination-proof room. I suppose so. In the future, they staged a... a mission to retrieve Jimothy Blackwart. It was... He sort of stares off into the distance for a moment. It was mostly successful. Three for them, yeah. He was able to get us back to where we are now. Mm. I'm reminiscing about the North. Strongly. This has been a... Uh, Asma almost seems agitated right now. Just shaking almost. Additionally, speaking of the North, since we're discussing ideas and plans, mm. there is one more piece that I'm missing the artifact that I carry there's one final piece that's needed and at this point I'm pretty sure it's with an ice forge somewhere getting anywhere near there without Ramsey's knowing would be difficult extremely hopefully I can I plan to attempt to do my own investigations given that my access to the dream, to the Sea of Dreams has increased, an attempt to garner and glean information from his, from the simulacrums of Arcanos. Perhaps not as much as you think. Hmm. He, someone got the drop on him before, and he'll just very briefly look over at Venariel. Hmm. Venariel or Talia? Is Talia here? Yeah, Talia's here. She's just been listening. Well, then, then yes, he, he would he would briefly glance over at her. There are ways up north, some of which you're Wolfgang, aware of. Wolfgang blinks. Ways, yeah. There's the Nexus, and of course, there's the Underdark. Most of which well, is unpatrolled by those that dwell above the surface. Hasn't Ramses been collapsing the tendrils of the smugglers' nexus that are in the north? Yes, but attempting to collapse something so vast and wide is difficult. There are many gates and doorways. I know of two at least. Uh, there is a cabin in the middle of nowhere that Ramses himself keeps as his own personal cabin, which has a teleportation circle inside of it. Unless that circle has been destroyed, I might be able to glean the specific patterns to get us there. Secondly, I know of a temple of Arcanos that is underneath the ice far to the north. If it is still active, and I can confirm that with a scry spell quickly, that will give us a forward command post that I don't believe that Ramsey is even aware of, only accessible by teleportation and by other means. How often does he go there at all? That to the is outside a... eyes, that would be a completely collapsed, frozen over ruin. Oh, even more so. It is underneath a frozen lake. How are we supposed to get out of there if we go there? Teleportation. How far away from the main city is it? From Meternock, it's quite a bit of ways. It's it depends it's on, on where Meternock is. 
Uh, it is a small town. Uh, the temple is just outside of a small town under a frozen lake. The town is called Frosthelm. We never went there when we went up north, did we? You didn't. I met a team. Mm. I met a, a team up there. A tabaxi by the name of Aora, Aurora, a turtle by the name of Andre, and a human by the name of Salem. Too kind. Clever one, that one. Mm. Might be useful in the future if we need uh, if we need additional hands. Sounds like a serious badass. <laughs> I hear he's shredded. Wow. <laughs> Has an eight pack. <laughs> Hung like a mule. <laughs> Believe it or not, he actually carried with him this very interesting uh, creation, almost like a Arcanaton. But it was small, quadrupedal. He seemed to be quite affectionate towards it. Wolfgang kind of, uh, like, like raises his eyebrows at that. And uh, when it moved? He, he snaps his fingers, and on the wall behind them, an image of the party appears. Uh, granted, you know, if you want to get more information, by all means, check out that VOD. After the session, of course. As far as we know, the only people who have that technology are... Talos and Timri, and... Mm. I suppose the dragons, as well, if they're... Did... did sorry, refresh my memory. They were trying to make an army of... Arcanatons. Did that ever go through? Is that, is, that, is that a thing? Not after they were usurped by Ramses. They were... Their power sources were swapped out for shards of the crystal. Ah. And during the cataclysm caused by Nidhogg, in the confusion when Ramses was able to make his way into our vault... He stole away the army and has since taken those gems and turned them into his children. What happened to the shells themselves, we are unclear. Wolfgang squints and tilts his head. I wonder what they did do with the shells. Anyway. That's a plan for later, should the need arise for it. Indeed, that's information that can be easily acquired or connections that can be made again if need be. Plenty more preparations will need to take place if we're to attempt to infiltrate either Iceforge or Meternacht, if that plan is to succeed. This... But right now, the dragon is the more looming threat. I was about Agreed. to say, this is all future planning. Right now, we need to look at what's directly in the, ahead of us. Nidhogg's none too pleased that the people of Solitude are no longer his cattle. And unfortunately, it has turned his glaze gaze eastward. It's a real shame Dogen's been lazy as hell this entire time. I mean, lazy? Really chalk him up to being lazy? I thought he was dealing with the protracted issues of the West. Uh, no. Cut to Dogen, sleeping in a chair, hands down his loincloth. <laughs> the sounds of battle going on around him as the orcs attempt to flee further inland. Call so being... and tell him to do stuff. Well, you tell a, you tell a god to get off his ass. I mean, okay. I mean, she would, but that's not a good thing. She to holds do. her hand out for the horn. No, 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 no. What? Well, it's not going to summon him. It's going to summon Spike. Yeah, and if his dog goes missing, he'll wonder what happened. Hasn't. He hasn't done it any of the other times that I've called him. 
What if we keep summoning him? I think it's a one a day thing, isn't it? Yeah, what if we did it like every day? There's likely more effective ways of doing that, but again, uh, I'm not sure that that will be of especially, especially of use as whenever it comes to getting Dogen to deal with Nidhogg. The favor that we have with Dogen is for another battle. Right. It'll be cool. We may need his help in the future. This we can take care of. If I'm if I'm being perfectly honest, this we we can deal with Nidhogg easily. We're just trying to save Garrick in the process. That's making it hard. Frankly, he is much weaker than he was in the future, and we are much stronger than we were then. Don't. Mm. The situation, however, has more dominoes that can fall. If yeah. This is still wrong. to worry about the gesture. Still, I I kind of just remembered the whole blood thing. Right. The I've brought it up before, but there is definitely a third factor that will almost assuredly try to get in on this, as it was his plan in the future. The Jester of Bordeaux will likely try to hijack any sort of ritual or, or cleansing we may try as it is his Just goal talked to... about him the other day. Yeah. It's his Someone goal in town. To... Someone in town? Yeah. Huh? You know about, about a... Um, uh, no. He just... When he told this story, it just really reminded me of Poof Pants. And, um, she said his Poof name was Pants. Gandrick. Gandrick. Does anybody know anything about that guy? Does that name sound at all familiar? Uh, you can give me a history check with, uh,. Yeah, just regular history check. Asmo, you could give me a uh Oh what's natural twenty. Ooh. Oh wow, natural oh. twenty. Hot damn. 21. Oh shit. Uh that name oh, that name did come up, Wolfgang. He was uh formerly the high priest of life here, uh before Barristan Kench took over. Uh he left shortly after Barrist and Kench took over and started burning people at the stake more often and just being Bloody a hell. general asshole. The Gandrick is in the high priest of the Lord of Light? For the town. Act he was super sad about everything. I think I'd be sad too if people were yeah. burning alive at the stake. But he talked about meeting Fezzi with Grinspire. As my head looks up, it's like, what? I think maybe you should tell us about this meeting. Uh, so, okay. So he was in the north and said everybody had crystals and, um, met this dude, um... Uh, it was like a bard or something. He was about to go nuts. His name was Fezziwig Grinspire. Uh, and, um, let's see. What else happened? Uh, talked, the, the bard Fezziwig talked about ancient being, power to destroy gods. Um, and got stabbed by him. And, uh, said the world would burn. Uh, laughed a lot, uh, and then uh, they both started laughing, and then he like passed out, and that was like five years ago. And now he's back in town. Five. We years drank ago. together. Yes, five, five, six years ago, I think. What would we all have been doing around that time? Uh, yeah, around the time of that story, uh, it would have been just before you started heading up north. Mm -hmm. Or at least That's around the time, or at least around the time you were heading up north. That's before any of us met. 
Oh, you would have probably ago. met by the time this story happened. We'd have met by that time. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Nice. It was at the beginning of the campaign, let's put it that way. Right. It, the I'm day before sleeping. the campaign started. That was the day after the campaign. Oh, boy. You were fighting a bear in the woods. <laughs> As one was getting arrested. Holy shit. So, yeah, he's in town. I ran into him. We drank a little. He's got the good stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know what it means that he had one of those laughing fits because I feel it's like a big jester thing that happens and that maybe he's possessed by him or something. But, uh, he think, seemed cool. I think the jester, his blade specifically has a one of them crystals inlaid into what? it. What? What? Yeah, he's got a he's got a blade that has a one of them crystals inlaid into it and I think it can impart his madness to oh. other people. So that may Fuck be nuggets. What... He stabbed that guy. That would explain why he broke into a laughing fit, probably. Yeah. Yeah, he's got like a scar and stuff. It was like pretty deep. Yeah, Does that mean the jester's in town right now? I don't believe so, but it's hard to tell. It's hard. It's hard to predict the jester of Bordeaux. If we're gonna be perfectly honest, what the? Fuck? I don't like that. <laughs> I have a bad feeling right now. As as that the stranger, that, someone on a piano music, or what? as that musical tone goes off. Denier's actually messing with the Jester of Bordeaux's head. As soon as he hears it, he looks up and shoves it back into the bag of holding. <laughs> there. Uh, mementos. Got a little hat? Among other things. What does that mean? You know, if you what put you... that on with your outfit, you'd look like a red me. Probably. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that's irrelevant. Um... Nara, basically, Fezziwig Grinspire is the elf that is possessed by the Jester of Bordeaux. Possessed hey. by Red. Uh -huh. uh, the, the blade itself, whenever he stabs you, he makes you have this uncontrollable laughing fit. It yeah, makes it I... easier to kill you. Yes, it was very annoying to get stabbed by him. That's how he killed my cousin. Mm -hmm. Is he still dead, or... Is that a not in now this, thing? In this timeline, no. He is very much still active. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so Gandrick's not crazy. Because I'm not crazy, because I got stabbed. I'll have my people look into him, Talia said. Or says from the corner. Be very careful. I train whatever them to be. Whatever happens, whatever happens, tell them not to engage, even if they do find him. I was mostly speaking of the priest. Follow him around, see if he's on the up and up, but... Oh. Be helpful. The constabulatory can assist with that. Might do to meet him anyway. For the most part, my people are hanging to the shadows and making sure that nothing's sneaking up on you to begin with. So from what I understand, uh, uh, this entity is particularly tricky. Are any of my uh, any of my shadows following me today, or is it just Talia? Go ahead and give me a perception check. Hmm. Yeah, modifier is not great. You know, you'd think for a hunter, my perception would be higher. Still good. Eighteen. You think you saw one? Does shot him, Jaeger. Though they are not presently in the room, at least as far as you're aware. Either they are very well hidden in this room, or this room and everything in it is for the ears of those who are in it only. So we've got a 
few things to consider. A few avenues we can go down. And further, I would push caution. I know you're more powerful than you were in the future, but this Needhog is still unpredictable, and he does have an army at his call. Not to mention he has one of them crystals. Which we will need to recover, but do need to be cautious on this. Twice the pride, double the fall, as they say. So whatever preparations you do make, you should be ready for things to go their worst. <sighs> That's true. If it comes to oh. battle, you need to be ready for it. Is there any chance what with the alliance between Nidhogg and Ramses, do you think there's a chance that one of them demon generals that he's got will be appearing as well? Unfortunately, we can't rule out the possibility. I know there's one of them that I'm particularly wary of. Apparently, they can change the way people think, modify memories, steal memories. That Den little lad was an apprentice of her. Uh, Denier, give me a history roll. I was just about to ask, given my history and knowledge of various timelines, uh, 15. 15? Uh, you do know that in certain timelines, uh, especially those where Ramses is more on guard, he tends to keep anything that can manipulate the minds or see into the minds of others fairly close by when he is more worried about uh, anything that might come to attack or harm him or his people. From, from what I've seen, uh, usually uh, those kind of forces are usually kept very close to the chest, almost bodyguard-like close. They are extremely dangerous and probably one of the most dangerous of them all. Although every single one of them is absolutely lethal in their own right. As for what forces he may send to convene with Needhog, it's kind of up in the air. Like, if he were sending you know, aid or supplies, it is possible that there might be one of those creatures there if such aid were to coincide with your visit. There's a few things we can count on if Nidhogg is in fact coming here. If he brings his retinue he will probably bring along Yorick. He will probably bring along Tiwig. In that regard, I... I'm not sure allowing him to approach would be for the best. It would put too many in danger. It may be for the best to visit as a dignitary as opposed to allowing him so close to this many people. You're right. Simple. We play into his ego. We bring... Wolfgang comes in with his guard paying tribute to the Great Red Worm with a, 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 a gift, an offering from one subservient nation to the great and powerful. And we offer him the Yumberry wine with the drug within it. Uh, on top of that, maybe I might even suggest how many Yumberry seeds could we even get, given the option of making their own, not just 
Like, yeah, yeah so it would have to be a big, pretty big overture. That won't so work. If we give if we give them one of the seeds, then they will have no reason to keep us around. No, no, no. You you have them come for it. Give them young berry, and then surprise them with the seeds to show our intent. I don't know what to say about this, aside from the fact that if it's too obvious, they won't fall for it, no matter what the ego is. He's got a lot of people in his ears paranoid about his him overstretching his hand because he may be an unruly creature. However, there's many different factions fighting over his ear. There's this, also the fact... The... Those who are trying to push against... Oh, sorry. No, don't worry. Those that are pushing against that will look for any option of us because they know it's in our best interest not to actually directly fight them and have them not target us, and that's what they're trying to push for. So therefore, we have to make it clear to not just Nidhogg, but those detractors, the ones from the north, what we are doing, and it must be very clear that we do not like what we're doing and we feel like we have no choice. The seeds wouldn't do them much good, however. The reason that Silver Rock has a monopoly on this fruit is the fact that the god of nature itself blessed this land in order to make it more fertile and be able to grow this fruit. Mm. I don't think volcanic ash is an ideal environment for... Fey fruit. Indeed. Mm. Neither are the lands that he controls, and he does air quotes. Why do you think the... we have a dryad in our park? Because they prefer parks, I, you know, I... it's weird to think about every single time it just gets brought up. But mm -hmm. I it's a weird town. Regardless, I remember you'll need to be prepared for inevitable attacks by fire should things go south. I've brought ingredients to better produced the potions that will help you resist flames. I believe each one of us should already have at least one from our previous foray out into the desert uh, produced by my academy, but more would absolutely be helpful. Do I have a... A potion of fire resistance? Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, we were each given one uh, last time we went into the desert because uh, Denier had his students make it. All right. I'll look for that later. I'll make sure that more is produced for your journey. Hmm. And a so. suitable gift will need to be put together. An offering to a creature like that whose ego is larger than itself will no doubt need to be sizable. We've already got the Yumberry wine on offer. God's We're going to have to make it look fancy. Be drinking it. Hi. Are we... Are we transporting it all the way to the Colossus Caldara? Unless you want to meet him halfway. If it's just us, I can get us there quick. As long as you can also but transport the gift as well. Yeah, I was about to say. And we're we're pulling this this off there, right? This isn't a multi-step plan. When we get there, we're we're firing on all cylinders. We're doing this. As far as I'm aware, yes. Uh, Yorick is absolutely critical to this plan if we're going to attempt to uh, redeem Nidhogg because Yorick is basically a hero to Garrick. Without him, my plan will likely fail. Or at least the most friendly and less combative version of my plan will fail. I'll speak to my brother about a potential gift. He has 
a number of enchanted items that may, at the very least, pique the beast's curiosity. Aye, I remember him having a large hoard of both gold and magical treasures that he more or less kept as a bed. Dragons like them shiny. I, I am, I am still very happy that Hackless decided to set up a magic shop here in town. If you would like to speak with him about it, you're more than welcome. Don't we owe Hackless money? He tends to bring that up, yes. <sighs> Fucking A. Right. We'll need to start speaking to people in town. If this goes wrong, what does our exit strategy look like? I suppose that would you'll. Go ahead, Lenny. Uh, go ahead. It sounds like you actually have a thought. Uh, that would depend. How do you want the situation handled? If things go wrong, are we trying to complete the plan anyway? Are we uh, handling? Nidhog and then getting out there and then preparing uh, for everything else are we just fleeing and trying again depending I, on I think if my my idea of it going wrong is it turns violent and we are no longer able to perform the ritual I mean, at that point, I'd say just activate the volcano we're in. Well, the thing about that is we're the only ones going to be taking damage about that. Well, I mean, I know red dragons are immune to fire. Is is, is lava fire? I mean, it's hot, obviously, but it's like melt, melted rock. Uh, now, that's a question for Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> <laughs> there are several... Is it technically an uh... earth attack? Well, how much of that is bludgeoning damage? <laughs> uh, you... <laughs> I'm just trying to contribute here because this is like high stakes strategy. <laughs> it is technically fire damage. Mm -hmm. Now can Tiny, they dr now can they drown this? in it? Sure. Hmm. Didn't think about that one. Oh, for what he contributed to the uh, uh, reclamation day event and a few of the items that you basically took out on loner. Uh, yeah. About fifteen to 20,000 gold. That's a lot. It is. That is a lot of money. I... Can uh, make a little note of that. <laughs> we haven't paid any of that off. Mm. Man, Not really at all. Mm. It'd be really convenient. You have a very long time. line of credit considering you also own the bank. Wait, how much do we own the bank? I mean, you like you own basically the entire economy of Silver Rock, so. Oh, right. I thought you said we owe the bank. No, you own the bank. Own the bank. Got which it. Is, which Got has it. created enemies for other reasons, but. That, right, that right, right, me, right, 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 right. That makes me worthy of death. Um, anyway. You are the system, uh, man. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't like it. Um. We even had slums. Man, it'd be really cool if, like, we suddenly discovered, like, a sapphire mine. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be crazy if you did. Mm. <laughs> Hundreds sapphire of glittering mine. sapphires. <laughs> Sheen all at once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a Sierra adventure. Oh, my God. I need to, Nick, check your messages in a minute. Oh, sure. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ugh. Yeah, no worries. Denier, can you get us out of there if if that happens? Things turn violent and we can no longer do the ritual. Unless I, get, unless I get counterspelled, yes, but at that level, I have one shot. I can either uh, attempt to perform the ritual or I can get us out. 
I think ideally we'd want to be able to perform the ritual, but we don't know what sort of resistance we'll be facing in there. We'll have allies. Of course we will. But we'll be in the heart of the lion's den, so to speak. I mean, we've done it once before already, and we've um, seen... And his forces aren't nearly as strong this time around. My worry is the agents of the north. They're obviously going to be high-level magic users. And they will not like us there, especially when they realize why we are there. So, uh, I wish we could get more information on them. Well, last time we checked, I don't think we had seen any high-level magic users outside of maybe Bardish. No, I, I, I have to believe that they wouldn't be foolish enough to not have someone of high magic capability there. Oh, no. Nope. Almost every single one of them is capable of magic in some way, shape, or form. I can mm -hmm. tell you that right now. No, they, they got their best people on this. It's clearly some of the most power, like magic on scale, if not stronger than something that we have. And that's almost more, I'm almost more worried about that than the dragon itself. The dragon, we know what we're dealing with, but those are unknown quantities. If there I, is, in fact, some force in the north that is there, they will, one, almost assuredly try to stop us, and failing that, two, report back to Ramses. Well, worst case scenario, we could try to turn it against them. Uh, if a conflict between us and them shows up, turn it that they're being disrespectful. Wait, what, disrespectful. We, with, we talked about something earlier. The ego of Nidhogg. Well, it seems to he be loves particularly to be a... large. Mm -hmm. Now, the ego we're dealing with would it be the kind that would like combat in front of it at its entertainment? And if that's the case, let me just throw this out here. What if one of us, as with gestures to himself almost, challenged one of them to a fight while we are there? An honorable fight. As you said, air quotes when he says honorable. But if this is a would-be despot, if you will, oh, I would love seeing those vying for his attention fight amongst themselves for it. Perhaps that could be an avenue of doing so. Dinner and Utilizing show, so it. to speak. And more or less, in a lot of ways, yes. But this would also pull those figures out of the shadows and into the forefront. As far as I'm concerned, that could be leveraged. I don't think they would. I don't think they would even expect a direct challenge like that. Well, they would find it's... that strange. I just can't see it unless I would find out otherwise. There's something to think about, at least. There is something else we need to take into account when dealing with the Red Worm. Apparently, he hates for his history and his uh, creation being brought up. So nobody mentioned his history, where he came from, or anything like that around him. Yes, oh. definitely. And he looks to, at Denier while he's saying this. Definitely nobody mentioned his history while we're there. Nobody leans in closer to the near my connection to him with my presence not even my presence would agitate the situation is that not something we should be concerned about well I think he likes you given mm -hmm. who he is at his base at his core and that core is still there yes if you mm -hmm. if you recall I think we mentioned that you, in, in the timeline that we were transported to you were one of Needhog's generals. Hmm. Asma sits there contem contemplatively, just kind of going, what if we contacted Yark and had him try and begin encouraging this almost, like an actual fight, some kind of entertainment, the dinner and the show, as you, if you will. What if there's a way, if he likes me, as you say, Ah, oh, you would like that, no doubt. Well, maybe you've, some doubt. You've got... You've got a man on the inside, right? Mm, unless he's... Unless they have him. Do you unless know they what's have, happening with that? 
this was your idea. Lanny, what do what does Asmo know now from the updates <laughs> they received? Uh, the last update you would have received from Wizen uh, came with the information when he came back from Mitternacht. You got the information that they were being armed and armored by uh, a Duergar that uh, is now under the employ of uh, Ramses, one that you guys had previously met. Uh, you guys, uh, you know that, uh, you were not privy of the information that they were sending an envoy. I guess he wasn't able to get that message out in time in order, uh, like before T-Wiz was able to show up. The last update we received was from reference to the fact that they seem to be arming them, at least through the Northern Way. A Duragar of some kind is arming them all. So it seems to be that there is a lot of weapons armor, what have you, being dished out. But my informant was not able to notify us of T-Wig's move, which leads me to believe that T-Wig might have gone rogue on that, or the fact is that at least the positioning of the agent did not have them privy to that information. So, as far as I'm concerned, the information we received is... I have no reason to believe it's not true. However, certain key and pieces of information have not been sent our way, so I do not know how modular everything is there. That said, if you need information slipped inside, I might be able to find somebody to get word in their ear, Talia says. Mm. We could also, if this is a known ally to us, we could just have Denier you sending. That's That's my thought process as well. However, I don't know about the informant. Because of not being notified about T-Wig's move, and based on the conversation that we had with T-Wig, leads me to believe that they might be pushed out or they might already know they have a leak of some kind. As far as I know, my informant might be dead. I could attempt to contact him, but for all I know, he could even be, they could even sense that that's happening. And they might, that might be how we out him. Radio silence and his messages have been the right play to this. What I'm worried, if we overplay our hand on this one, they'll know. However, we have another person we could speak to who's closer, but he might be under the same scrutiny. Unless we send someone new ahead of us. And I do have an idea about that, but... Ugh. I have an idea, but you might not like it. I'm open to suggestions. Well, if our agent has been flipped or has to stop sending messages based on what we've seen, and we don't want to out another contact that we have with Yarek, there is an option of sending someone new and someone with a story that makes perfect sense and why they would be there and get away from us. Someone with an axe to grind based on everything that everyone's seen in our own town if they have their own agents in this city. A man who spent several weeks in a prison cell recently. A man who does not like magic users. <laughs> Wolfgang sort of like sucks at his lips a little bit. You, you've told him about this man before, yes? Asma, oh, a- oh I, I would, yes, Asma was informed him about that, which is why Asma's like, you might not like this, but yeah, this is something to throw. You're f- you're familiar with the story of Hobbs Bergen. Everybody at this table uh, who is privy of the situation with him knows. Hobbs Bergen does not like magic users. Does not like them at all. <sighs> and the people from the north are magic users. On an actual level, I think he would love this. Oh, he would absolutely adore it. At least based on what I can tell. It sounds like you'd be sending him to his death. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on... Or maybe he's just a prisoner who broke out there and followed T-Wig's party back. Hmm. Hmm. When we have everything on the table, I have to tell you right now, it's plausible reality. The reality is I believe there are agents in this city... Spying on us. Oh, there are. Oh, there absolutely are. Mm-hmm. I, can, as... I can tell you for a fact that Ramses has a spy in our city. Mm. At least I think one. He told us that. Mm. So, if we're looking for a cover, <laughs> you have one right there. If we so choose to go that pathway, and we could communicate with him, and there are ways to. There are magic things that he we could do to make sure that he's able to communicate with us. There are other things that could be possibly happen, and he can give us a heads up. Because it's, I don't like that our, I don't like that our informant did not inform us of T-Wig. 
He might be dead for all we know. Well, the method you use to transfer your communications is also slower than the advance of a traveling troop. Mm-hmm. It truly is. We have to send him out in front of us. Now. Before anything else. If we so choose to do that. However... I'm not a magic guy. I'm trying to look at this on a practical level. As far as I'm concerned, we're going into a den of snakes. With a king snake, a king worm, a red monster. However, it's easy to work, easy to twist. And that's what they're trying to do. Even though they're trying to push him in our direction, I don't even think he likes being pushed. Based on what we've been told by Yarick. He doesn't, but he still has enough of his soul not to go after Yarick, who tells him no. Push this back on him. Push this back on those guys. There's it's also very nebula There's hmm. also your relationship with Garak to be considered. Anything you can do to set him a little off kilter, off guard. Any reminder of his previous life might be able to shake something. Move the situation to your advantage. Are you aware of my history with Garak? Entirely. Not entirely, but I do know that he had when a fondness first, for you. When we first met, I said many rude things to him. Because he was arresting me. Let me see, and that's how I met these two. Heads up. Mm -hmm. You're captain of the guard. <laughs> he sort of just looks wryly at uh, Venariel. Nah, it was a different time. It was like all oh, years ago at this point. He was a very proud, very proud guard captain. He traveled with us. He even wanted to spar with me outside the city before we went in. He saw me a person and went a different path. And if someone comes to him, who was joined recently, who I imprisoned, unfairly, might I add, not only have I done the job he's done, but done it poorly. This entire act of what I say about Bergen could be used in that way to agitate him. And it's not a lie. Because mm. I did keep him in. Just to over him up a little bit. But all the same. There's a very real application to this. Because I'm doing the job he did. And I arrested a person like me. And I wasn't as nice to that person as he was to me. Not only will I remind him of what he did, not even if Bergen will remind him of what happened, he'll feel sorry for Bergen. Mm. If he can read oh, yes. the situation that you're presenting him. Well, you say you want to agitate him. He doesn't like thinking about who he was. Imagine if a prisoner breaking out of jail or being or getting away from it all was sent to jail by the man the dragon itself put in jail and had a fondness for. Yeah, this one's almost choking up a little bit because this is hurting to say. I don't like using this against him, but what we're dealing with, I can't not suggest this with the connection it has to me. I, when we talk about this, I always try and lock down. I try to stay in my body. I try to stay away from it. I try and make jokes and everything. But the reality is someone I actually saw as a close friend is now an existential threat. And I, because he asked was almost tongue tied. No, I, I absolutely get you. I know exactly where you're coming from with that particular aspect, and it fucking sucks. It does. If you wish to play that out as a factor, I'll do. I'd take I any to... I'd take any advantage you can get. I need to talk to Bergen first. And have to talk with him, and also I might even have to warn him he needs a magic seal to make sure that he doesn't get outed or get in trouble. There's probably something to be done for that. Right? Is there something that can be done about that? Yeah, so it's just just with the magicians. In what regard? I don't know. Like, I'm worried they'll probe his mind. I'm worried that's what happened to our spy. The don't forget, we had someone come here who could probe the mind of multiple people in our town. We had to be careful. The army of lizards he surrounds himself with are more likely to eat him than attempt to interrogate him, but... Just the idle thoughts. When I saw that thing that was able to read, the child that was able to read all the minds, 
Maybe that's what they have. The that's... mind readers are usually kept as like bodyguards, very close to the chest. I I doubt that they'd be sent out if, and stationed with if, Nidhogg. If they have multiple mind readers, you put what are the chances you think they would put one of the mind readers right near Nidhogg, one of their most important assets they have outside of their empire? It depends on how volatile. It depends on how volatile they see Nidhogg, I suppose. Based on what we've heard, he's a difficult person to rein in. They're giving him gifts, shiny weapons. And still, he does not move the way they want. I apologize if I'm bringing the conversation around in a cyclical circle here. But while we talk about the magical effects of everything, there's a very practical thing that has happened here. So we could send an extra agent to find out what has actually happened, to find out if our spy has been killed, to find out for being fed false information to know what we're actually going into. Otherwise, we're dropping in with the word of someone we have not heard from after multiple key events have happened. It's worrisome when everything's at stake like this. More intelligence is always a very helpful thing, especially getting our feelers out there to learn of what's happening out there, although... Could we teleport him close to where they are? Bergen. There's a, Can we get him close enough? There's a teleportation circle at the wall or at Amber Glade. It would have to be the wall. You would have to be able to trust this man not to run off on his own after you send him out there, though. That's the challenge. That's the challenge. Asmus literally got his hands clapped thinking about this, because this is like, this is opening up something else in his head about this. This is dangerous. But uh, I, above game, I genuinely am concerned that we're being played by one of our spies. I am. I actually am. Because uh, we, we haven't actually physically been there, so we don't actually know what's fully going on. And we weren't giving heads up about T-Wig, and that fucks with me a bit. So, out of, out of, out of character, obviously. But in character... Is there... Denier. Yes. Is there any kind of ritual spell that can bind someone to someone else for a task of some kind without them dying. As for gesture, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? What he's describing, I guess, is enchantment magic. Is there an enchantment of some kind that could make sure this guy stays on the straight and narrow, essentially? Above game, he's asking for the geese. Uh, uh, a geese or <clears throat> anything that yeah. would enthrall somebody. Geish. Geish. Second Irish words. Geish. What the fuck is Irish? <laughs> it. The spell you're asking for exists, but it's not exactly in my skill set, given that I have spent my entire existence fighting enchantment magic, and that is uh, pretty heavy enchantment magic. Is there anyone in town who can do it? Please don't tell me the guy we owe money to. I mean, Hackless is fairly good with enchantment magic, but... Uh, oh. given... This was just like, of course it's Hackless. Like, God, son of a fuck. Uh, Lanny, uh, with the knowledge that I have of my of my staff, uh, would my enchantment professor have uh, that kind of skill set, or is that far above their pay grade? Given your apprehension towards the school of enchantment, uh, your school tends not to mess with the uh, magics that modify people's minds. Uh, mm -hmm. It is kind of a... It's, it's almost one of the more evil forms of magic, I would say, just because you're actively messing with what makes a person a person at that point. So the only reason anybody in your school would know that magic or would practice that magic is to teach somebody how to protect themselves from it. Right. Does Nara know anyone? Uh... I guess, you, I mean, Solomon would probably know how to do shit like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, As... You got him on speed dial? Nope. 
vetoing that. Which means he probably has people under his employ that know how to do things like that. Hmm. Well, but, I don't know if we need to enchant his mind. I just don't want him getting out if the same thing hits him. Anyway, this is all... This is all maybe. This is all maybe and if. If, I speak. if, if the man hates magic, that's going to put it... That's going to make it even worse of us enchanting him with a spell to put him under thumb. I wouldn't want to do that. I just would want to make sure to safeguard him that he doesn't get caught. I'm going to be frank. Yeah. Osmo, I think this man is a liability. That's what Garrick said about me. <sighs> Alright, sorry. Didn't mean any offense to you. No offense, it's just... He's untested. I see where you're coming from. But we've already got a lot of factors going into this, and throwing in basically an unknown is a risk that I don't think I'm willing to take. Poor dish. What about her? Like in her dreams and stuff. We're well, asking if we can make contact with her. Yeah, why not? She's seen pretty pins and needles before. See if yeah. she's okay. She seemed like... When Tiwig was here, Tiwig made mention that Bordish did not seem terribly keen on the idea of becoming Needhog's bride. See, exactly. And that makes me wonder if she might be more open to friendship. See, there's an angle there, but then we'd be talking to someone... We'd be trying to convince someone who is directly tied to Ramses to betray an ally. Yeah, I've already got one instance of that on my plate. I'm not sure that we need another one. It might be an avenue worth looking into, but... Perhaps it would be dangerous to let her know of the plan before we're able to attempt to enact it. Especially if we have a... Honor. Especially if we have a mind reader on hand. True. <laughs> But what if you just checked in and said hi? In her dreams. That's why she kind of looks from Nara. He's being amused by Nara. Now looks at now looks at Denier like, you know what? That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> kind of expression like, hmm. What, you're suggesting, like, a wellness check? Like, hey, how's it going? How you doing? I haven't talked to you in, you know, months, but here I am, up out of nowhere. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I think that might be... Especially after... She, she probably knows what we did. What do you mean? With the lycanthropes? Uh. So she's probably privy to the fact that we're not exactly on Needhog's, you know, favorites list. list. Yes, exactly. But if she knew that we had done that, but still hasn't told Needhog to squish us flat, I mean, then did that not mean that maybe she would be open to just chatting? I mean, you could just tell her, uh, you know, Denier, that uh, Wolfgang had a bad dream and you were in it and he got worried so he asked you to check in on her well that is <sighs> when you I'm unfamiliar with your magic when you use your dream magic does the person whose dream you're entering always know you're there not always but they do uh, it does have an instance that, that they are able to remember their dream perfectly every time Hmm. There have been instances where I have entered dreams and just stayed off to the side and just observed instead of interacting. So maybe a more subtle influence could probably be what we were looking for here. Perhaps indicate that...
Need Hog's transformation that we're trying to induce is for the better. Go with like a prophetic dream route, kind of. I suppose. You could also just say congratulations on your marriage since we know now. And see how she reacts. Isn't she less than eager about the entire thing? Exactly. And then when you say congrats, you can talk to her about it and she'll be open about it because she won't like it. Maybe, maybe and then show her premonitions you... of what would happen to her should the uh, marriage go through. Mm, I guess. Or you could just talk to her. What would you Wanting have to do? wish an early congratulations, you know. What would you? How would you want to influence her? Like, how? What would this accomplish? I don't know. Yeah, ideally, maybe get her to defect. Ramses did sort of pull a fast one on her with all of this. Yeah, and if she doesn't like it, then maybe she would want a way out that is beneficial for all parties involved. And then maybe she gives you news about the scout that's missing or whatever. Right? In the dream, could she not get hand over information regarding the people from the north? You're uh -huh. assuming Without that she knowing. would want to. I mean, she might just be in a dream where she feels like she's got to talk to somebody. What if her dream, I was just spitballing. Her dream, she's uh, talking to a good friend about the people she's stressed out at work with. You know, I don't... I, it's something to be very simple like that. Leaf. Huh? You go in his leaf. His leaf? The little kid. Hmm. The, 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 the mind reader kid that she knew. She would be pretty open to talking to him, right? Um, the assumption that their uh, mind is an open book to them. Exactly. All right. Given the careful. given the Arcana roll that she uh, that Venariel just rolled, she might also be very much on guard should something strange happen in her dreams. Given your relationship to Ramses and her tutelage under his system, she might be aware of any attempted manipulation. That's why I think you should just go in and say congrats. Pretty direct, straightforward, and it's not like you can exactly send a letter to Needhog's lair. Perhaps we're approaching this from the wrong Dragonborn. Huh? Uh, You're thinking Yorick. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prepare him. Let him know what's going on, since he's more his his mind is more sound. He's more protected, and mm. we're likely to have his loyalty, since we'll be helping him get his brother back. He's no, already he's, on board. he's already professed a desire for such a plan to succeed. This Bardish is a unknown. If her loyalties are truly to Ramses, then any for given information is suspect and may be communicated to Ramses himself before we're able to enact our plan. It's a risk that isn't worth taking. Though... Of this, I agree. Though, if you can Still. gain her favor while there, that would be beneficial. More allies, the better. Yeah. Wolfgang we and I previously have had conversations with her, and has, I believe that we have made an impact when we escorted her to the wall. Then I suppose your best bet is to inform Yorick of the plan. Have him distribute the information around to those who would be helpful. Seems like we've got an outline of what our plan is developing here. Mm. We would also need to make sure that we are stocked up on supplies and make sure that we have everything that we need in case uh, a fight breaks out as well as make sure that there are 
members of the Kylum on site and ready for emergency triage if need be. Uh, Asmo, making sure, do you still have that canister that I gave you a while back? The one that has contains the revivify, uh, the single charger rev revivify with it. I think I do. I don't know if I have it on my items list, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> it probably yeah, got lost, would... but I remember that there were three. One was given to T-Wig, one was given to Wolfgang, and one was given to you, and T-Wig if... and Wolfgang's is gone. Yeah, I remember if a couple of them were this... used. If we met this version of Asmo in the forest before he was kidnapped, then I'm pretty sure he would still have it at this point. It's true. It nah, might it might pass. be gathering dust on a shelf somewhere, but probably Sad. I'd have to look for it. Yeah, no, I think I put it in, in an old trunk of stuff. Yeah, I think it's at the home. My home, well, yeah, our home. We'll Shit. Probably be worth fishing that out then. We need it in case something happens to Wolfgang. Hmm. I'll make sure that there are some people stationed in Fallwood Barrow in case anything goes south. If it does, we can expect immediate reprisal. Immediate. So let's make sure it goes off without a hitch. Do we want to inform the Hexwood? Because likely if something happens, they would be a first line of defense of anything flying over. I think if anything tries to fuck with the Hexwood, it, it's over. I don't think... Uh... Oh, fuck. Fleetfoot? Mm-hmm. I don't think Fleetfoot's going to take too kindly to anything trying to mess with the Hexwood, and at that point, I think it's thoroughly out of our hands. Very true, but I mean forewarning in case something happens so he's not caught off guard. Yeah. Might be, be a bad it. idea. Hmm. Mm. Just got to make sure we get all our ducks in a row here. So, currently, the plan is we're going to the Colossus Kaldara, all four of us, a small retinue of people from the Kylum Diaboli, who are on standby with triage or to help us with the fighting should the need arise. And we are to present Needhog with a gift. One of those gifts being the Yumberry wine that has been laced with the sedative. And then we're to administer the tincture made from the Lily of the Lunar Well to open up Needhog's soul and mind for Denier to enter via dream if need be, I can straight up bring the entire team in with me. That would be very helpful. And we try to bring Garrick back. Don't forget the we removal have... of the gem nested somewhere within Needhog himself. Yes, that is also a priority. We have... Tiwig, for sure. York, for sure. Bardish, we could try to convince. We have as you most, as well. As, well, yeah, I mean, I'm fucking coming. No, no, not you. You. Oh, fucking... Can't say. Yeah, I know the one. We need to... He's fucking... doing, like, a might guy pose in, like, a shadow somewhere. <laughs> Asmo's informant up in the air as to whether he's even still there or still alive. Mm -hmm. Just to throw my hat in there, I don't think that he's been found out because if he has, it's probably likely they would have tried to get information out of him. 
-hmm. we also have potential uh, plausible information that we can get from Firefang that some of you may want to join me in the dungeon in order to gather. Who? Wanna go? The, uh, the dragonborn sorcerer that has information that may, uh, research that may hold the key into a dragonborn becoming a dragon. Uh, you're mm. worried about Bergen not being trustworthy. This guy's been locked in a cell for four years. You think he's going to be chit-chatty? Yeah, probably. If it, if there is an opportunity for him to make his life better... Potentially, he'd potentially be able to play games with. He's not going anywhere near Nidhogg. Absolutely not. Well then, I'm going to go see what can be dug up as a offering to Nidhogg. See what my brother might have on hand that would be fitting of the situation. I'll leave you to the information gathering. Very well. This is really happening. In one form or another it is. Again. But this time it'll be different. Time will succeed. Aye. We have to. Otherwise, not just the South, but I think all of Marmaria is going to go to hell. I'll make sure that we're on the right side of this branch split. Aye. I suppose we should all go get our preparations in order then. I suppose so. Top. Find that revivify. And as you all head your separate ways to go make your preparations. We ain't got fucking time for a break. So we're going straight <laughs> to the conversation took a while. Uh, no break. There was a lot going on. I mean, there's uh, a lot to plan for. A lot of different avenues. I, I love in meetings because like Asmo, Denier, and Wolfgang are like the master strategists. And Nara's like... What about this insane idea? <laughs> what if we threw some chaos in the mix? Yeah. We take this new wild card. And then if it doesn't happen, she's like, all right. And she's like back to <laughs> sticking her arm in the like void bag and petting little ass. <laughs> deep beneath the surface of Silver Rock. I suppose not so deep as we've been much deeper previously. Hmm. Decently deep. Beneath the Kylum Diaboli. Still hanging in his cell. Hard to say how long it's been since he's felt his arms or wrists or shoulders in anything other than agony. His tapered, ripped, and destroyed wings still cascading down his back. Hangs the dragonborn sorcerer, Theradoc Firefang. As the door to his cell cracks open, Denir and Nara peer in as the light of the outside hall catches his eye through the transparent glass of his inner cell. Carved with many anti-magic wards. 
His eyes squint at the light. He looks away. Denier steps in and motions for Nara to join him. Mm -hmm. Greetings and salutations. I take it all of my previous requests have fallen on deaf ears. The request that you have made previously, yes, but we're here to talk because there are things that we might be able to offer that they denied. I seem to recall you were the one I was having this conversation with last time. He looks at you. And with a slight gleam in his eyes. Wait, who? Which, which, uh, Denier? Yeah. Okay. With a slight gleam in his eyes. Or were you? Let's just say yes. <sighs> Slight smile. I'm here because you are one of the most foremost experts on a particular topic, namely Draconic Ascension. You yeah. have information that I need, and I have ways to your life easier well here I am the mighty professor in all his glory you do look really cool he kind of glares at you no I'm serious you do he looks away she's here because just like you and myself we're all of the arcane innate She has surprising, as well, she has surprising insight on particular topics. She <clears throat> smiles. So you brought a lie detector. Mm, a very formal version of what I do. I kind of do what I want. What do you want? We're here because we're going to be looking into Nidhogg fairly soon. Your information could be the key between our mission's success or failure. Mm, then what have you brought me to study? Scale, blood, fang, claw, or rumors? information things that you might not be able to see otherwise and confirmations of things that you might not have seen otherwise and perhaps a glimpse of what might have been Pretty juicy stuff, honestly. Well, I'm dangling with anticipation. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I offer you this accord. You be of assistance to us in this task, Nidhogg. In exchange, when you are not oh, in this place the eight hours or so that you remain unconscious I will make sure that your life is significantly better that is the one thing that I can control on top of that your father has shown interesting reactions whenever it comes to you specifically Word will be 
extent of your working and what you're doing to assist us. I imagine that might change his thoughts and his perceptions. Might help him in the long run. Might help you get out of here sooner. After what he let them do, you think I give a damn about what that man thinks? I imagine that there's quite a bit of hate in your heart whenever it comes to that man. But hate. this can work for you in the long run. I don't think a word like hate can even begin to fathom. The depths a of... relationship with your dad, huh? To say the least. I mean, I get that. He I know what it's like barely to be seems to regard that. You see the condition this man is hanging in. He's been hanging this way for years. Hope has left him a long time ago. He is a shell of whatever he might have been at one point in time. It's hard to even say how much of his intellect he still clings to. left alone in the dark with the only visitation being those who bring him food to pour down his gullet or the occasional rat that scurries across the floor outside his cell I empathize Theradoc I know what it's like to be trapped in a location with little information becoming at you little to keep your mind busy I know that infinite boredom that infinite hopelessness staring out and staring right back at you and yet the last time we talked all I asked is to let these chains be loosened but a little so that I might feel the sucker of blood reach my fingertips yet I was denied You were denied then. And wow. so your desperation has grown to the point that my limbs might know blood again. Oh, lucky me. Your physical body will remain as is. But what I offer is a reprieve for your mind. <laughs> Something that you can be able to experience in places that you might be able to walk outside these walls in your own mind. <laughs> you offer me the only reprieve that I currently have. <laughs> the respite within my own mind. <laughs> is, this, is this a cruel joke? Is this just another nightmare? <laughs> the respite no. of my dreams <laughs> you won't even offer to loosen these chains <laughs> just kill me get it over with because if this is your negotiation then I hope you all burn. And I hope, I pray, only to live long enough to hear your screams echo through these halls. A smile crosses the nearest face slowly. You have one reprieve. Only one. I offer to make it better, 
or I can make it worse. The carrot or the stick. Your choice. Go ahead and roll intimidation. Can I help with that? What would you do to assist? I don't know. <laughs> just just menacing presence. You know how you can just change your I, I'll, body I'll, language. I'll, I'll say that you intent. like you have an aura that you can like make the shadows ebb in closer to him. So go ahead and make that with advantage, Denier. Eighteen. Damn, Lenny. That was that was that was a little unsettling. This dude's been hanging here for years alone mm -hmm. with not a single ounce of kindness shown to him since he was tortured. <laughs> he just <laughs> looks at you. You would take all I have left. You know what? Take it. Because if your only act is to come in here and threaten me, then your desperation must truly, truly be palpable. I pity you. Nara's actually the one smiling now. <laughs> Do you know why you're in this cell? For exactly crimes I did. didn't commit. For dreams yet undreamt. I saw your dreams. I saw what they became and I saw just how fucked up they became. Congratulations. You made your dream come true. You became a full-fledged dragon. And then Nidhogg ripped you apart. At the very first chance that he got. He ripped your eyes out and put them into one of his general skulls so that they can better serve him. Oh, the impression that must have left on you. To see a world rot by that dream. And to know that a single slip from you would but make it reality again. When you're bathed in the great worm's fire, I want your last thoughts to be of me. To be of the world that you rot. I bathed in that worm's flames before, and I came out unscathed. If so be it, then I will do it again. And what of the people you seek to protect? What of the flames that lick their flesh clean from bone, that scatter the ashes that were their muscles, sinew? To fertilize a dead and burned land. This world will last long after you're gone. Long after I'm gone. Long after she's gone. I don't care what I have to sacrifice in order to make it true. It will not pass. Then why are you here? Go because make I'm giving your world. you an. <laughs> I'm here giving you an opportunity of redemption. You don't have to do this. Redemption. What is there left to redeem? I barely know who I am anymore. There's nothing left in here. 
just my dreams. So go on, take them, and let's see what remains after that. Don't do this, Theradoc. <laughs> do what? I don't want to see you go down that route and go that far. Do what? What am I doing? The only thing I'm doing right now is humoring this conversation. You would offer me. You would offer me my dreams. And you threaten to take them. If you had something of substance, would you even give it? You won't even give me back my circulation. Your word means nothing. So let it burn. So be it. He glances towards Nara for just a moment. And he mm -hmm. walks away. You're gonna do the thing. He says nothing as he leaves. And he leaves Nara in the cell alone. You both got very angry about that. Looks back at Denier. Looks forward at Theradoc. He's just staring at you. He doesn't really know what to make of you. Do you want a snack? Sure. Go ahead and just open up the cell and... Give me one. Wait, can you have booze? No. No? I haven't been allowed any comfort in... I guess I don't even know how long I've been here. Hmm. Wait, what kind of snack can you eat? You can chew and stuff, right? If you'd like to find out. All you need to do yeah, okay, is... Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> she literally runs out. Uh, and uh, very quickly asks the guards if they have a snack, whatever that may be, um, and find something that actually has, like, good taste and could uh, give it to him and asks vaguely the process of feeding him. They tell you that would be a very bad idea. Why? Uh, they're under strict orders, uh, and they are the ones held liable at the moment that should anything happen within his cell, he'll... I mean, they'll be on the hook for it. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And they aren't uh -huh. entirely sure how dangerous he is but that he is uh, normally fed gruel through a tube. Ew. Aw. She's going to snatch and grab whatever food is on the table. <laughs> and she doesn't I mean, they, I mean they, uh, they offer you some, like, jerky and field rations and stuff. Sure. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then, then she'll they'll, she'll take a little bit of uh, some whatever seems like it would be the easiest to choose since he probably doesn't have a lot of a uh, uh, like ability to deal with that. Uh, and she will go give him a snack. Okay, uh, you see no seam on this circular bubble that he appears to be in. Okay. So you're not entirely sure how to open it. Well, shit. 
And you really messed up, huh? It would seem a version of me did, yes. Though which version like bad, I could though. never say. Did you not even remember what you did? I did nothing. I am being blamed for something I had yet to even concoct. Wait, what? Do they not even talk about me? No, they have. I'm very bad at paying attention. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no, it's just funny that you said it. <laughs> he seems it's... to deflate. It. How many years have I been here? You said several, like four, right? I don't even know. Well, surely you did some bad stuff though, right? He sits, he hangs silently, just kind of staring off despondently. Oh, hang on, the what did you the look do? Of, the look of a man do you know what he did in the future? I'm sure that you told me, but in this moment, I do not recall. It was bad, I know that, but... He, like, used... He... Something about Tia... Something about dragons... Helped the bad guys, You know guys, what? Right? I'll let you roll a history check to see if okay, Nara great. can actually remember. Because it's very in character for her just to not... Just in one ear and out the other with this. To not know... Even though she uh, was... 12. 12. 12. You know that he is the reason that dragon... Bo like, that draconids existed in the future. And that he tricked Tia into something, something, she became a brood mother, something, something, yeah, something. I, yeah, I recall that for sure. You did, like, mess up... Oh, 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 oh. Th uh, that you that was the you that did the no no I went there by the way when you did the stuff <clears throat> well good for you at least I left a mark on some world it wasn't good and none of no one was really happy about it not even your side of things, actually. Just leave me be or let me die. Well, actually, I mean, I'm good at the second one. Like, very, very good at the second one. The first, I'm very bad at. Then do what you're good at. There's nothing left for me. Okay, grumpy pants. That's not true. I can't even move my fingers anymore. Yeah, you keep thinking about right now. You could help. You could have a whole different life. Do you know who Solomon is? I don't care. Well, great. That guy was my, like, dad, and his mom is, like, death. And it was pretty not awesome for a really very long time. But everything changed. And it was kind of nice. And it's better now than it was. But I didn't think it was going to get better. I thought that's just how it was now. But there needed to be change for that to happen. The only thing I want now... ...is peace.
I'm kept here as a bobble. Like I'm supposed to offer information of something that I never did. That I'm supposed to provide information on a creature I'm not allowed to study. It's a cruel joke. I wasn't even given a trial. I was guilty in all of their eyes. And my own father watched as they ripped the wings from my back. I was so proud to show him them. They took so long to cultivate. And now they hang. Like rags. An itch I can't scratch! They won't even let me die. There is no choice left for me. There is nothing. Perhaps I am dead. Perhaps. This is death. A cruel purgatory of my own creation. Or maybe I just lost my mind long ago. Maybe I'm speaking to a fiction. Maybe I'm not speaking at all. I'm, no, I'm here. For sure. So you say. He falls silent. I mean, I can't really do anything about the whole jail thing. I'm still kind of new to laws for the most part. I still tune them out a lot. Um, but, uh, maybe I can kill you later? Or play chess? <laughs> chess. Sometimes. Yeah, you know, the little game with the little things on it. Took Denier forever to explain it to me because I just don't understand how pieces can move differently when they look the same as checkers. That game took a long time to understand, too. His eyes kind of go foggy as if he's drift off into a daze. A yes or no? He just hangs there. Sorry I bothered you. I will try once. If you don't hate it. She'll turn to go and Try and ask the guards to give him whatever jerky or whatever since you can't get in the bubble. They give you a half-hearted... Yeah, okay. As they close the cell behind you. The arcane seals that hold the door shut shimmer. And you leave the broken dragonborn to his, to his emotionally depleted stupor. 
while you go off to plan your siege on Nidhogg's stronghold. And that's where we'll end today's session. 